क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट डिस्टिलेशन एंड व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस एंड लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसीजर बिहाइंड द डिस्टिलेशन सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वी हैव टू डू बिकॉज़ दिस इज व्हाट वी कुड फाइंड दैट इज हाउ ए लिक्विड इज बीइंग प्यूरीफाइड सो नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट दिस So friends we know that a particular solid can be purified by different process that is by crystallization also but when it comes to liquid obviously a method is to be done that is basically known as distillation so now let us understand what is distillation in this topic but before understanding distillation it is very much important for us to understand the definition of distillation so now let us understand the definition of distillation the process in which the liquid is converted into the vapor phase and at its boiling point and the vapor phase is then condensed back to a liquid on cooling is basically known as distillation so this is what i want to talk about that is it is concerned with that of a liquid and what we have to do is we have to basically we have to boil the liquid and again we have to condense that liquid so in this manner we can also purify the liquid so how it is been done let me talk about this with the help of a simple diagram that is known as simple distillation so this is a diagram that you can see on the screen and let me elaborate this one this apparatus or this method consists of certain apparatus that we have to take uh, in concern and then only we could uh, understand the distillation and let us understand the purpose of each apparatus that has been present over here so this one consists of basically a round bottom flask as you could see over here or that is also known as a distillation flask and that is basically it has been connected with the thermometer and what is the use of it let me talk about this later and this is basically it has been connected or this is the delivery tube that you could see over here and this is what it is connected to the liquid water condenser and this is how we can basically here basically we can find that is the liquid gets condensed after when it comes to a boiling state and it condenses and here it is how we can obtain a pure liquid so what are the precautions that we have to take let me talk about that one so this is the distillation flask that we have over here and that is basically it is been basically we can uh, heat it in the form of that is water bath also or we can heat it directly so this consists of the impure liquid but during boiling what happens is the bumping starts so that's the reason that we can add porcelain paste in it so after adding porcelain paste we could find that is after heating also or at a high temperature also the bumping doesn't happens so in this case basically if we heat it so obviously this is a liquid this could be volatile also or this could be non volatile also so at a certain temperature obviously it will boil and that boiling point of the liquid can also be measured in the terms of in with the help of that is thermometer so now what happens is this liquid which gets boiled up obviously it will convert into a gaseous state and that gaseous liquid or the one which has been converted into gaseous state so that is what it will transfer through this delivery tube and this is what it will go through the water condenser so now this gas it will get condensed and while condensing it will form a liquid and that is how we can obtain a pure liquid over here while the rest of the impurity it could be in the form of a residue or it could be in the form of the other a substance that could be present in this impure liquid so that would be remain in this distillation flask only so this is how basically we can purify a certain liquid so the compounds that we could take like suppose if we are talking about that is a volatile liquid that is a ccl4 that is carbon tetrachloride which has an uh, around a boiling point of that is 350 kelvin so even that we can use and in spite of that we can also use that is non volatile liquids like aniline that is basically 458 uh, kelvin something so in, even that we can use in this process so as to purify it so this is what we can use it and the main thing is the work of this water condenser because this helps to basically condense the gaseous form of the liquid and that is how it can be easily converted to a pure liquid with the help of this water condenser so that is what the uses of this way and that is what i want to talk about so this was a simple distillation process and uh, the further thing that is fractional distillation that is what we are going to talk about in the next topic so for instance this is sufficient to understand so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much